Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, on this episode of The Bullet Points, we are going to talk about something that I think you guys will find fascinating. Did you know that now suicides, yeah, suicides are now preventable by complete gun control? Because every time for gun safety is now saying that is their newest study, that is their newest talking point. And if only we had common sense gun control across the nation, we wouldn't have suicides. Which all of a sudden, by the way, another point of irony is they are now saying it's the main cause, or at least a main bulk cause, of gun violence. Do you guys remember, I don't know, about six months to eight months ago, where that was the entire thing? The whole thing was homicides, awash with gun violence. Well, now it's suicides, and they're drawing correlations to gun control states and preventing suicides. Now, of course, the only problem with that is it makes no sense at all. Everything's going to be linked in the description box below. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. And forgive my voice for sounding a little weird this morning. I am coming down with a head cold, but that's not going to stop this freedom train. So hopefully it's okay, but let's dive in. Now, this is from ABC News. Now, I mentioned yesterday that all of a sudden the Senate comes back into session and now it's time for gun control articles. There's got to be a reason. Now it's an epidemic again. Now we've got to make action, common sense gun control measures right when the Senate comes back in. But anyway, it's a coincidence, right? The article we're covering, gun suicides rose 11% in the past decade, linked to cities with lax gun policy, says new research. Advocates say the statistics support their argument for gun control. Now, again, this is coming for every town for gun safety, Bloomberg's group. Now, question, before we get into this, and you guys let me know in the comments field, how would gun control prevent suicides? Again, also keep in mind, which I have a video linked down below, where we covered the entire media, the AP saying, hey, guys, the red flag laws aren't even being used, so... If red flag laws aren't being used, how are universal background checks, more stringent gun laws, safe storage laws, how is that going to prevent suicide? All right, let's keep going because they're going to make their case. <laughs> Don't you worry. Now, the number of suicides committed with firearms increased 11% over the past decade and was driven primarily by deaths in cities and more relaxed gun policies, according to new research first obtained by ABC News. Now, of course, that doesn't make any sense because cities are primarily gun control zones. Now, the ones in the red states are southern states, or for the most part, or midwestern. And they say, ooh, the gun violence is so bad there because of lax gun laws. Now, of course, they're not going to mention Chicago, New York, Washington State, any of the states that are blue that have gun control. It doesn't work. But now they're saying suicides are preventable by gun control. Let's keep going because obviously there are some problems with this theory. Researchers from New York University and Every Town for Gun Safety, not biased at all, by the way, a leading gun control advocacy organization released a report Thursday tracking the growing rate of suicides by firearm, which already make up the bulk of gun deaths in the United States. Again, ask yourself this question, why is this new information? We've been covering this for over two years together about how the fact that suicides are a main portion of gun violence. And if you take the suicides out, you have much different numbers because they're skewed with that data in, but they've never removed it. But now all of a sudden, suicides make up the great bulk. There's always a reason. Let's keep going because they're going to get their, their gun control one way or the other, at least in their minds. Quote, we know that stronger gun laws save lives. Every town's deputy research director, Megan O'Toole, told ABC News, quote, and this data demonstrates the importance of local legislation in preventing gun violence in cities, specifically through addressing suicides. Again, how can gun control prevent suicides? I already showed you this the graph in that previous video about the fact that Florida was the leader of gun control seizures under red flag laws. No blue states. Let's keep going. Every town's ranking focuses on how uh, states enlisted, or excuse me, enacted a list of 50 laws encompassing a swath of gun control measures. So we've refer we frequently reference this. This is the list that where they get one through 50 on the gun control strength laws of gun safety laws, which is completely subjective and on a gun control site, including storage requirements, regulations for permits, and background checks, variations on red flag laws, which make it easier for authorities to temporarily restrict firearm purchases for those deemed to be a potential threat to themselves or others and more. Again, 
Red flag laws are not used, particularly in these extreme blue gun control districts. We've already shown you on the previous video I mentioned. So how can storage requirements prevent suicides? They can't. Regulations for permits and background checks. They already have background checks. And in these states with gun control laws, how is a background check with a permit um, license going to do anything? It's not because it's suicide. And then, of course, we talk about the red flag laws, which, again, have not been used and therefore are not effective and null and void. So what are they getting at? If the whole point is suicides are increasing and that's a terrible thing, which suicide is a terrible thing, gun control is going to do nothing to prevent it. And that's incredibly important to understand. But that is the newest bell they are ringing on this Friday morning. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you tonight at the 9 p.m. segment. I'm Braden. See you later.